and welcome back to my channel my name is Eva and I'm so glad that you found us today I have a vlog for you and we are making pierogies I think that is the way you pronounce it if not I am sorry not great with names at all but anyway if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing as I'm bringing out new content all the time like this so with that said, let's jump into this vlog. For my filling, I have got some cooking bacon. This had a nice big chunk in that I'm just gonna cut down into smaller pieces and we're gonna fry this off because our filling is going to be um, potato, onion, and I'm bringing in some bacon get this cooking off I know it's gonna need quite small pieces I think this is smoked bacon by the colour of it so that should add some good flavour in. I'm using ingredients that I've got in so it probably will not be a traditional pierogi but I'm using what my my kids and that all love. I'm using the New York Times recipe for the dumpling, the dough. I'll link that down in the description below. Right, I'm going to get those on in a frying pan. Into that frying pan, I'm going to add some onion. I just want this to cook down just a little. Right. I'm going to leave that there. Okay. In here I've got a pound of potatoes, believe it or not. I'm just going to cut them down. And then I'm going to put them through a potato ricer. Okay. Right, I'll bring you back when I've got all this mashed up nice. Uh, bacon and onion is cooked and I'm just going to put it in straight into here in with mashed potatoes into there I'm gonna put some butter nice and soft salt and pepper Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put an egg in. Put two eggs in. One. The eggs from our chickens. act like a binder that'll do for that okay. and here I've got two cups of flour and that's plain flour or all-purpose flour teaspoon of salt I'm 
gonna mix it. Mix that round first. Put an egg in. Tablespoons. I put the eggs into my mixture, the one with the meat and that in because it does say you normally use cream cheese in it so the New York Times says well I'm not using cream cheese so that's why I put in some butter and some eggs just to let you know guys I'm winging this Two quarter cups I put in here. Oh, there we are. It'll work just fine. <laughs> using the proper measurement but I'm sure it'll taste just as good it says need for five to seven minutes I think I have way too much film so I'll probably end up making a second batch of the dough I know that apparently they freeze well. That's a bonus. Lovely dough. Put some cream over the top of that. And let that rest at room temperature for half an hour. So what I'm going to do off camera I'm going to make another batch up and then I'll bring you back when we're ready to start rolling out the dough okay that's our dough it says work with half at a time but I don't think I'm going to have enough room on my cooker to do that so I'm going to go a quarter keep the other wrap okay I've got the dough, it says to work at half at a time, but I'm only working at a quarter because I haven't got much room for working, so I'm rolling it out nice and thin. I'm presuming you roll it out thin, similar to pasta, because that's what it reminds me of. If you've got a pasta machine, that would probably work lovely on this. Right. I said I'm winging it really. There we 
here onto a floured baking tray. Right. Okay, that's roughly half the dough. What I will do is I will bring you back when I finish doing it all. And then I can show you how much I got. Well guys, I made, that's not all of them, there is another tray actually in my freezer with someone. I actually made 90, 90 pierogies. So they are going to make several meals for us they freeze well so I'm really pleased with that so let me get these packed away and put my fridge ready for tomorrow because that's when we're eating them tomorrow and I will get the £1.50 pantry challenge items out and this is the £1.50 pantry challenge and this week we have Stockwell orange squash we have golden vegetable savoury rice, a bar of chocolate, and that's Ms. Molly's milk chocolate, and to make up the odd pence that was left, which was 30 pence, I chose three drumstick sweets that my kids will enjoy at a later date when I finish doing the £1.50 pantry challenge for the year, which isn't quite yet. So that's what we've got, that's going in the box and this is where I'll probably call the vlog to an end. Right guys, that's it for this vlog. My feet are killing me, standing there doing 90 pierogies. Yeah, makes your feet hurt. But I tell you now, I've got one lot of 30 out for dinner tomorrow and I've got two meals, two lots of 30 in the freezer for later on in the upcoming weeks so that is a bonus so if you want the recipe i will drop the links in the description below for you i will briefly write out my filling mixture because i didn't use theirs so i'll write mine out the best i can for you guys so this is where i'm calling it i am shattered right so before you go don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe ring that bell that way you won't miss a video so until next time guys bye and take care